If you really, really utterly want to become confident, ask yourself first why you're not confident. Because of the way you look? Because of your financial situation? Because of the job prospect? Because of the fact that you have a small social circle while your friends have a lot of friends? Because you're socially awkward? Because of the fact that you can attract girls or boys? Because you think yourself that you lack a sense of humor? Or you think yourself that you're ugly in general? Well, chances are you can be confident or won't be confident unless you know who you really are. Bro, even if you are bored to explore why you're confident in the first place, get out of here. You're not welcome. Why? Because your life will still remain in a slum in next 35 years because the vast majority of you guys are very bored and lazy to get your ass up and work on improving your goals. Okay, losers are not welcome here, but if you're still here, come on, let's be confident together. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me who I am, my name is Louis Quinn Angelo and nice to meet every single one of you. In this video, I'm gonna make you become a confident individual. So please stick around with me till the very end of this video. I just want to start off this video by introducing an anecdote that I've learned from one of the videos created by Simon Square. She is one of my favorite YouTubers, so shout out to Simon Square, okay? Because this is not my original anecdote, okay? So let's create this scenario to get together. And you went to one of the most infamously expensive restaurants in America with your group of friends. Okay, and you met up with that dude, let's call him Henry, okay, so Henry is rich, he's well done, he is a billionaire son, that's how rich he is, okay, but he wears like a bomb, he wears like a backhoe on the street, on top of that, he posts the ugliest photos of him on his Instagram. What is interesting is that although he knows himself that he wears like a backhoe on the street and he posts the ugliest photo of him on his Instagram, he seems to be confident. Why? Because he knows, he deep down knows himself that he has a lot of money. So his confidence stems from how much money he makes or he has. Well, let's create another scenario. What if I took away that money? What if I took away his money? Apparently, he is still confident. Wow. I was my blown and I was like, bro, Henry, how did you manage to be confident even if your money was taken away by me. So he was like, bruh, I know how money works, okay? I know how to make money. I learn how to make money. I know how my incomes are generated through this source and that source. Wow, impressive. Do you get the point? My point is, if you think or are assertive that you will become confident if you make a lot of money, why don't you start up your own business? Why don't you start reading books about business? Why don't you start investing yourself? You are your own big investment, okay? You are your own big investment. If you think yourself, you'll become more confident once you become more attractive or more handsome or beautiful, why don't you try to improve your sleep schedule? Why don't you try to check out your diet? Why don't you try to hit a gym? Why don't you start taking care of your face or your hair, whatever? If you think yourself that you will become confident if you have a lot of friends, why don't you utilize Facebook, Instagram, whatever, uh, social medias, 
to communicate with other people. If you want to be like, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to make friends with, you know, like social media. I don't want to break months with people online. I want to make friends in traditional way. Well, we are living in the age of technology, and if you don't utilize it, chances are you will fall behind. Everybody around you is gonna step ahead of you. Okay, take it or leave it. Life is not fair. Okay, utilize what you have. Leverage it to your own advantage. Otherwise, like I ends like I mentioned earlier, you will be fall behind. You will be left behind. So my point is, you have to know who you really are in the first place. Otherwise, you can be confident. Why you can be confident? Oh, because I think myself that I am ugly. So start improving yourself. Oh, I'm fat. That is why I can be confident. Why don't you hit the gym? Why don't you start doing cardio? Why don't you start doing squats or push-ups to lose your weight? Stop complaining. Complaining doesn't get you anywhere. You know it. You innately know complaining doesn't get you get doesn't get you anywhere, but you still are doing. Why? Because you guys are lazy. Well, if you don't pursue your goals, when we all live once in this art, in this planet, well, your life is not worth living. This is tough love, okay? Accept the fact. No one's gonna help you. No one's gonna save you. Save yourself. So if you wanna be confident, like I mentioned earlier, know yourself why you are not confident and start working on those specific category to make you, to reinforce your confident level. Secondly, confidence is very quiet. Okay, let's go back to the first antidote that I've given to you. That rich dude, right, Henry. Do you think that he will announce himself like, oh, I'm rich, my dad is billionaire, I'm rich, bro. Like, even though I wear this shirt, I wear like a bomb, I have a lot of money. What? Do you think rich people would do that? No. Confidence is quiet in contrast to insecurity, which is loud. So if you want to be more confident, you need to show up. You're promising to yourself that, oh, I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, but you never do. You'll be the same. Okay, you are lying to yourself. There is no wonder why you're not confident. You will be a loser, okay? You will be left behind in life. Okay? So, if you want to be confident, show it up for yourself. It is easier said than done, of course, I know. Because I've been there. It's more of like a building blocks, you know? You have to practice yourself, train yourself to become more confident. If you are not confident because of the way you look, well, start polishing the way you look. And then, show it up. At certain events like um, wedding or farewell or I don't know like you fair and then you strike up conversation with other people people at that event that's how you reinforce your level of confidence so that is all for today guys see you back in the next video peace